Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video of doing the weekend forecast for today's first video. So as always on a Saturday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the week ahead. And it's going to be a much more settled week uh, this week. High pressure will be in control of weather through most of the week, which is something we haven't been able to say much through the last few months. Um, so a lot of dry weather, starting quite cold though. Uh, probably the coldest nights that we've had so far this winter. It's some quite a harsh night for us, especially for... England and Wales, and then later on we will sort of envelop the high with cloud, and so we'll lose the frost and fog risk, um, and temperatures will lift up uh, a little bit, but there's going to be a lot of dry weather around in weekend, I'll get on that for you very shortly, just say that coming up later on today, we'll have the regular week's 10 day video update with all of the usual features, and then tonight we've got our very first CFS versus Beijing Climate Centre, six months look at, that will be with you this evening. The website's using for weekend four so coming from wetcentre.de and weatherout.com, starting the radar picture at Gaz Worthy. So we won't dwell on this for too long because we haven't, actually haven't got much in the way of rain. We've got one or two light showers across Northern Ireland and some heavier, more pokey showers up across Northern and Northeastern parts of Scotland. One or two of those have been wintry over high ground, but you'll see most places have actually been dry free this morning. So we'll move on from that very quickly and the reason uh, we've got a lot of dry weather today is that high pressure is taking over the weather pan so we've got this ridge of high pressure extending in across the country and strengthening at the same time we did introduce a colder air mass though yesterday so this is quite a cold ridge that uh, is developing across the country today so, for the rest of this afternoon, showers will continue across the northern and eastern parts of Scotland. They could be wintry again over high ground. Uh, one or two light showers for Northern Ireland and peppering western and eastern coast. But really, many places are going to be dry this afternoon with plenty of sunny spells. In fact, we'll see unbroken sunshine in uh, one or two places. Temperatures are going to be ranging from around 4 to 9, so it's colder than it has been. It's not particularly cold, but just because it's been so very mild for such a long time, it does feel rather <laughs> rather cold, a bit of a shock, particularly for southern parts of the, the country. But those temperatures are actually not too far, or maybe even a little bit above average still for the middle of January. Overnight tonight, this high pressure will continue to strengthen across the country. So, again, it's going to be a mainly dry night uh, in most places. Places. The last of the showers will clear away from northern Scotland and then we'll have long clear spells across most parts of the country which will allow the temperatures to do quite a plummet. So we could well have our coldest night widely of the winter so far tonight with temperatures easily going down to minus two, minus three in the, even some sort of uh, sort of suburb areas in the countryside. Minus five is certainly possible. Wouldn't totally rule out the chance of minus six. There could be some dense and freezing fog patches, or there will be dense and freezing fog patches forming overnight. How widespread they become is a little bit open to question. They will be most likely, I think, for England and Wales and uh, possibly Northern Ireland. And again, I would have thought in rural areas more likely to get freezing fog there. But I think there could be one or two fog patches almost anywhere by the end of the night. Uh, and a mainly dry night coming up tonight as well. And as we already explained, a widespread frost. The high pressure will further intensify tomorrow. We're not going to be far off 1,050 millibars actually in the centre of this ridge. So that's getting towards record-breaking sort of levels for high pressure for this point of the year. You'll notice on the northern side of the high, we are picking up a little bit of a southwesterly to the north and west of Scotland. So there will be a bit more in way of cloud for northern and western parts of Scotland, although most places should stay dry. Um, elsewhere, it's just a case very similar similar to today, plenty of sunny spells, but expect freezing fog patches to be slow to clear in some places. And in fact, in one or two areas, we can see freezing fog lingering on throughout the whole of the day. Now, where any fog lingers, it will be very cold day, could it be an ice day with temperatures holding around freezing all day and about freezing fog. Otherwise, in the sunshine, and that's the majority of places, I would have thought, temperatures uh, will eventually climb up to around uh, 5 or 6 degrees. So a bit on the cold side, but nothing particularly ex exceptional, except where that fog is lingering. 
another widespread frost and probably even more in way of freezing fog on Sunday night taking us through to Monday with this area of high pressure dominating. Now we are picking up a westerly for central northern Scotland so yes I think particularly central northern west part of Scotland will have more aware cloud on Monday. Could even be a little bit of light rain or drizzle across the northwest of Scotland but the majority of the country again it's another dry day and an intense area of high pressure and particularly for Northern Ireland England and Wales we should have plenty of sunny spells but again there will be very freezing fog patches and they could linger all day in uh, one or two places and probably more in way of fog I would have thought by Monday so the risks over time of fog um, uh, increasing uh, is increasing with this high pressure so again where any fog lingers temperatures will struggle to get much above freezing after hard frost from a Sunday night into Monday morning otherwise we'll be up to around five six seven degrees once again in the January sunshine the high pressure goes on into Tuesday. Uh, by this point, we are bringing more cloud into the north. So, so, so Scotland and Northern Ireland, I think, probably turning increasingly cloudy. It will be mainly dry. It could be a little bit of light rain or drizzle around the Northern Isles and uh, the, the um, west coast of Scotland. But most places will be dry. Uh, but more cloud in the north. England and Wales should have plenty of sunny spells. Again, there's going to be a hard frost early and late. And there could be these freezing fog patches. Uh, lingering into the day during Tuesday as well. Very cold where any fog lingers, otherwise 5, 6, 7 degrees for England and Wales. Probably a bit more than that with cloud up in Scotland. Could be up to 8 degrees across the western parts of Scotland. Uh, by Wednesday, the high pressure centred over Ireland, so that allows cloud to envelop the whole of the country under this high pressure. So the fog risk goes away by the time we get to Wednesday, or that fog risk will reduce, let's say. Um, as it's replaced just by a veil of cloud, low clouds sitting across the country. So Wednesday, probably quite a gloomy, dank sort of day. Bit cheerless and miserable. We have a lot of cloud. Again, most parts of the country should be dry under this area of high pressure once again on Wednesday. Temperatures ranging from around... Um, 10 degrees, possibly, for western parts of the country. It could be up to around 50 Fahrenheit, western Scotland and the Northern Ireland, despite the fact it's very cloudy. Uh, for England and Wales and eastern parts of Scotland, probably a bit colder than that, but temperatures lift up a little bit, up to around 7, 8 degrees, probably, over in the east. The high pressure then sort of rebuilds itself over towards the eastern part of the country and into Europe as it goes through to Thursday. This subtle change in wind direction will probably allow drier and colder air to start filtering in across England and Wales anyway uh, during Thursday from off the continent. So I imagine Thursday will be the sort of day that starts with a lot of cloud. For Scotland, Northern Ireland, many western parts of the country will keep those cloudy skies going. Through the Midlands, southern, eastern, southeastern parts of the country, I would think over time, through the day on Thursday, the cloud sort of melts away and more and more sunshine starts to develop. As that happens, though, temperatures could lower again, so maybe only 5 degrees as the maximum uh, across East England and South East England on Thursday, whereas again, Western Scotland and Northern Ireland could be up to around 10 uh, degrees, which is 50 in Fahrenheit. A widespread frost is possible for England and Wales if those skies clear uh, on Thursday night. I'm heading to Friday. We've got definite signs of a ridge beginning to break down. So a band of cloud and rain will then start to move into northern and western parts of Scotland. The rest of the country will be mostly dry. There should be some reasonable sunny spell, particularly in southern and eastern parts of the country. Will it be a bit cold again in the south and the east? It will be relatively mild in the north and west. And then through next weekend, it's gradually the case that this high, it's a case that gradually this high pressure begins to uh, break down. It starts to turn more unsettled so by Sunday we're back into mild west south west of this but also beginning to bring um outbreaks of rain into the north and west so just patchy rain across northwest parts of Scotland on Saturday probably and then heavier rain with maybe gale force winds arise across Scotland and Northern Ireland by Sunday England and Wales throughout it all should stay mostly dry and as those west southwest winds pick up should start to turn milder so by Sunday despite the rain and wind in the north at least it will be mild with temperatures widely then back into double digits 10 degrees quite widely across most parts of the country the high pressure breaks down finally just having the charts weather outlook so loads of dry weather today plenty of sunshine 
Uh, but it is a bit on the chilly side. Uh, again, lots of sunshine tomorrow outside of any lingering fog patches. Will be quite cold. And the same is true for Monday as well. Expect harsh uh, frost early and late. And then as going to the middle of next week, we find clouds spilling in from the Atlantic into this area of high pressure. But still the suggestion is there for some sunny spells in more southern parts of the country. Quite a cool week coming up, especially in the south and the east. Always a little bit milder in uh, the west and the northwest, perhaps. Right, so it's not the most exciting week's weather we've ever had. But there we go. We have to take the rough with the smooth. And uh, high pressure is a... Uh, is a important part of our weather, of course. So um, we do get these weeks, particularly uh, in winter, where high pressure is uh, dominating and not much is going on. And that's what we've got coming up this week. So in summary, we're going to be seeing a much drier week. And that is the good news, because I'm sure most people are really fed up with all of the rain that we've had over the past few months. So a much drier week coming up this week. Uh, starting cold with a risk of frost and fog and then later in the week it will get a little bit less cold. Fog and frost risks reduce um, and probably back to milder westerlies by next weekend. We shall be back later on with your week to 10 day V update, including all of the regular features. And then tonight we've got the CFS 6 I'm talking about combined with the Beijing Climate Centre. So come back for that this evening or this afternoon, whenever you want. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.